fueled up and ready for some red snapper rod bending action with Captain Doug Stanford. We're going to fish the Packery Channel. We are fishing structure today and all types. Knowledge is power in the wide open. Will the snapper meet us today in the state waters and make us an adventure? Well, we're going to start out in 68 foot of water. We're hunting for the hungry game fish. First few stops did not produce anything, but we're on the hunt and the move. Will we get the rod bending action? Come on and see. On one of these old abandoned platforms, and they basically make an artificial reef. We'll see if it's holding fish. It is abandoned. It doesn't really do anything but create a safe place for bait fish and game fish. 67 foot of water. How far off? About eight miles from the Packer Channel. Eight miles, so we're in state waters. So if we can find some red snapper here, we can keep them. We'll talk about the Texas Parks and Wildlife rules on bag limits and size limits. Let's get some fishing on. To put the hook right in the meat, your dead, fresh dead shrimp, and run that hook right through the whole shrimp himself. And we've got about a four foot leader here. Weight at the bottom. And then the weight at the bottom. Got one shrimp about two foot up, another shrimp about a foot and a half up. And basically it's pretty simple. You essentially open the bale, let that line down, and as it goes down, kind of monitor it. You could catch a fish on the way down. So just let it go till you feel that weight hit the bottom. <clears throat> Not quite there yet, but close. Better fish. Three, two, one. All right, there he is. Got him. A little better fish that time. All right, Doug. This may be one we came for. What kind of bait we're using, Doug? That was uh, cut lady fish. All right, rod bend in action. Oh, better fish. He's fighting all the way up. A big old gaff top. You know, that's the thing. <laughs> Out here, deep water, different species of fish. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Big old gaff top right here. You know, he's different from a hardhead because he's got these sails that kind of come out off of his dorsal and his lateral fins. Good eating right here. Not what we came for. We're still catching red snapper. All right, here we go. Fish on. Bring him on up. Look at there, got a double. How about that, folks? <laughs> you never would know what you're gonna get out of here. Not getting better fish after a few moves. Doug's got a couple small ones and I landed a gaff top. Do you have a state water rod bending story to tell? Share it oh, right in the there. comments below. Oh, good fish. Kind of brace myself up here. Not a monster. We do have a red snapper. Pitching around here. In state waters, they've gotta be 15 inches. This guy, he gets to fight another day. He's 14 inches. Oh yeah. Woohoo! Do see do and around we go. Better fish. A lot better fish. Okay, now it's fish on. The rod has been over. This is a good sign. Monster black drum and red snapper. Captain Doug does not disappoint. We stayed at it, worked the structure, and it has paid off. Backbone, backbone. 
broadband in action on this episode of Wide Open Outdoor Adventures. Yeah, baby! Woo! Look at the size of that red, red fish. fish. That's a Monster. big old black drum. Oh, it is a big black drum. Yeah. Woo wee! Nice. You got him. Look at the size of that bad boy. Rolling. Monster black drum. On this episode of Wide Open Outdoor Adventures, Doug and I went offshore for Red Snapper. We've caught some Red Snapper, but look at the monster who came up to play and fight <laughs> today. Woo! Awesome. Yeah, he's gonna live. He said, adios, muchacho. Another fish. Oh yeah, fish on. That fish went down in the structure and I gave him slack and I got him back out. Nice, snapper nice. days. Now that is what we came, state waters, a red snapper. A man needs hooks. You see how I grabbed what I did? I took hook and the weight up, get in here. That's what we came for. Wide open outdoor adventures, red snapper time in state waters with Captain Doug, Mr. Stanford, Captain Stanford. Woohoo! Another good fish. Oh yeah. We're gonna take some of these snapper over to docks and have them cook us up for dinner. Good Get him, to. Dave. Look at me on some fish, Doug. Well you bet, Dave, anytime, my friend, anytime. The little guy got tangled with you, brother? Yes, sir. Fixed to make a mess. Well, if you got a lot of guys out here, you're gonna sometimes catch each other. Awesome, awesome rod bending action. A wide open outdoor adventures. Yeah, good fish. A big gaff top. Tell you what though, Good eating. Look at him right there. We came for red snapper today. We have caught five or six species of fish. All right, let's get this guy off the hook. Boy, they're slimy, but they make for good eating. And this is a big gaff top. Get my exercise today. Another fish coming up from the deep. And it's the smallest red snapper caught in state waters ever. Beware of this gill plate, it's razor sharp. See him press it down? He'll fight you, he'll fin you, but they're very delicious. We're gonna release this fish now, go back to another day. Fish on! Oh man, he's a good one. We're now heading to Doc Seafood to see our catch of the day, cooked up by Chef Ruben in this next segment, A Plate of Heaven. We caught some great red snapper offshore with Captain Doug. Now it's time to eat at docks.
Time to eat at Doc's. All right, get these fish cleaned up. Doc's cooking tonight. Today we're gonna to be cooking some red snapper that Dave and Doug brought in for us today. Right here we have some fresh red snapper and we also have some uh, fresh bulk shrimp, 1620. We're gonna be blackening this and then we're gonna to top it off with our house and goodness shrimp sauce. So let's go ahead and get started. We've got our sear plate nice and hot. We're gonna put some olive oil on here. Set that off to the side. This is that fresh snapper that we just got in here. We have a blackening seasoning right here. It's gonna have a nice kick, a nice spice to it. So we'll go ahead and dredge these pieces in there. The great thing about seafood is when you're cooking it, it'll tell you when to flip it so you don't ever have to worry about messing with it. Get a nice dredge on there. This will make a nice crust. While that's going, we'll put a little olive oil here on our shrimp. If you can hand me some of that house seasoning right there. This is our house blend of cracked pepper, kosher salt, and garlic. Put a little bit on there. Nice. <laughs> we'll go ahead and set these on the sear plate and get a nice sear on those. the fish. And as I was saying earlier about the fish telling you when to turn it, you see how it's turning white around the side? Sure do. It's ready for a nice flip. We'll go ahead and give this fish a good turn. Look at that nice crust that it's making. Just one flip. And the key to a good black fish is a nice hot pan. You always want the hot pan when it comes to black and fish. Yeah, that is great. And the shrimp also the same thing. That's the great thing about the Let's go ahead and give it another turn of the shrimp. Sure it on the top. About another two minutes on that, and we'll be ready to plate and get that sauce on there and ready to eat. Oh, it is some good cooking. Go ahead and give this fish a good turn. Look at that nice crust that it's making there. And the key to a good blackened fish is a nice hot pan. You always want a hot pan when it comes to blackened fish so you can get that nice crust on there. Let's go ahead and give another turn on the shrimp. Boy, Reuben, that smells good. It sure does. When it all comes together, it's just a great, rich, and spicy dish that everyone will love. Okay, now that the fish is cooked, and you can tell it's white through the sides, we're going to go ahead and take that off. It has that nice crust. We'll go ahead and plate it up here. Go. Get some of these nice shrimp on there. It's all presentation. It's all presentation. Here we go. And we have our Laguna shrimp sauce. It's one of our house sauces that we make in house. And that was the ingredients I was telling you about. So it'll make this nice cream sauce right here. And we'll go ahead and go over the top like that. There we go, guys. I can tell you like to cook. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that right there is fresh snapper blackened with a Laguna shrimp sauce. Right there is the backyard, and there's where we get it. You can't get any fresher than that. We caught that today, Captain yeah. Doug and I. It was good. I thank good you fishing. All. That was some good. There we go, guys. I can tell you like to cook. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And that right there is fresh snapper blackened with a Laguna shrimp sauce. Right there is the backyard, and there's where we get it. You can't get any fresher than that. We caught that today, Captain Doug and I. It was good. I want to thank good you fishing. All. That was some good fish. Great. Thanks, Ruben. And thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Can't wait to try it. What a way to finish the day. Fresh fish cooked up right in front of us with Doc's head chef, Chef Ruben. Blackened red snapper. And our stay at the Lighthouse Hotel? What a trip. Glad you joined us for this episode. More travel adventures coming your way. Check out this next video.